Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here at Jaws Podiatry. I'll do that again. Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here at Jaws Podiatry. Young patient who, diabetic patient who has presented to our office today for a routine a lower extremity evaluation. Um, I think it's been quite some time since the nails have been trimmed. You would say ballpark? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten months, mm -hmm. right? Um, definitely dystrophic, elongated, subungal debris, um, very brittle. I think it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of, you know, we'll see a lot of crumb, you know, these, these nails will crumble, will just kind of just melt away as we, as we trim these toenails. And, um, you know, we're, we're very keen on, and, and our sources of referral understand that prevention is, is of utmost importance. You know, this is, this is something extremely important that all doctors out there, whether primary care doctors, family doctors, you know, that's what, you know, the first line of defense, the podiatrist. Let's get to work. Here we have um, our single action. Nippa, because I know these nails are really, really soft to begin with, and we just removed, we marinated these uh, nails with some tri soft. You see, they're extremely soft. We uploaded that video, the last video. A lot of people saw me picking. Everyone started going bonkers. One second, Tomo Caesar. Oh, a piece of nail just went into the mic. There we go. Oof. Close call. Okay, so we have a ram's horn here. Beautiful. I'm gonna hold it in the back here. Exactly. That's why, I, you see? Again. Everything just kind of crumbles. I'm trying to look for that happy place there. We'll take off with the uh, the Q right. Okay. The rest we can definitely do with everything else. Let's go to breath. So very carefully, right? So we'll start there. Okay, we'll come from the top. Yeah, it's been such a long time that this has to, everything's very sensitive. Am I correct, the patient? Yes. Yeah. You know, try to, try to work our way 
into the kind of like that. Let's try to move this. I want to really try to try to get into this area here. There we go. Boom. A lot of people ask me, is there an odor to, th to this? And naturally there is, just because it's been, it's moist, mm -hmm. right? Everything is, is moist. Let's go to this other side here. Very carefully, I'm pushing the nail fold out of the way, very carefully. And we're done. Super. Okay, so we'll take the curette. Just start feeling better already. We'll work the front a little bit to so see how mm. uh, the patient. There's no question the patient's a little bit apprehensive. Oof. Yeah, that was close um, because it's been so long, and I'm sure it's really, really sensitive. You know, we do. A lot of people ask me, why don't you just anesthetize the toes, right? And we do that. You know, we give we give that option. But no one likes an injection. Mm -mm. <laughs> the patient's going, uh-uh. No, thank you. Exactly. I mean... This is not that bad. It's not that bad. You're doing a good job. It's my first time. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a good job. We'll take care of the rest with uh, the drama. Slowly, just chip away. You okay? <laughs> Thank you, camera, for covering my face. <laughs> Is you okay? Yeah. This debris. I mean, when was the last time this was ever done? How many years at least, right? Yeah, it's been about a couple of years at about least. A year, about a year, a little longer. Cause I only, I only had one person that do my feet. Gotcha. And he moved out of town. Oh, I see. I wasn't let nobody. Else. He, he, what you doing? He used to do the same thing. He did, he used to do a good job on my feet. Good, good. And I was scared to let anybody else do my feet. I don't blame you. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Look at this in the back. It's it's like the entire nail. Exactly. Then it grow and fall. That's how I knew it was fungus, but I didn't know what to do. I'm, I'm going to let the Dremel do this part. It'll be a lot easier. Last night I got home. 
and I had a bunch of pieces of nail everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's continue. Um. <laughs> Sorry. You see? Okay. <laughs> Caesar just got jammed in the head. No pun. <laughs> no. See, I wasn't kidding. It's not your fault. Absolutely, it's not your fault. It's his fault. No, it's he not. should be wearing a helmet. <laughs> right? This is what we do for the viewers. I'm sorry? You love your job. Do I love my job? How long you been doing this? Uh, it's been how many? Two weeks? No. Uh, no? <laughs> I ain't going for that. High five. High five right here. I ain't going for that. <laughs> uh, it's different when you just do a job. You love your job. I could tell. It's not work if you love your job, right? Mm -hmm. We love what we do. Yeah, you know, that's that's sort of, you know. That's the beauty behind it. Yeah. I mean, look at this. this. People are always saying, you know, yeah, there's no question that we are an extremely busy practice. You know, it's hard. You know, we're going to be, you know, everyone's always asking me, well, why, you know, why is this so loud in your office? You know, this is not a studio where we have insulation, right? <laughs> and, and people, you know, the walls are thin and, you know, we're just extremely busy. Look at this. The skin is underneath. You know, we got to be very careful here. We'll take the, the cure for that. You see, you hear everyone. But it's, you know, again, we are going to be... <laughs> so Caesar and I were talking to maybe, you know, insulate the rooms. That's our next project. me feel a little sensitive okay mm -hmm. that was a covid cough outside mm -hmm. And now we're going to go ahead and drum all the way. Yeah, this is a new bit. It's going to feel a little bit. Brand new bit. Turn this up like this, perfect. You okay?
for this. Little nail fold there. I don't want to go too, too deep here. I know the skin is right underneath. You okay? This, this nail is just in there. Look at that. Barely a little nail here. Got all that gooky stuff out of there. The lesser ones, it's a little bit harder. All this stuff. Look at this. It's like a, it's like a, like an abyss in there. We always have to be very, very careful. Sometimes. You'll find an, an ulceration underneath, underneath all that. Okay, let's go to the other side. Give it a little bit more juice. I personally like using this better than the uh, the curette. I think the curette can actually do a lot of a lot of harm. You okay, patient? I'm sorry. Reflex? Yeah. All the viewers out there, if you guys like this video, give us a like. All the non-subscribers, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, leave comments. Oh, Caesar got another one. He's got a Frito on his head. I don't know if you found that really funny or not. He didn't really laugh a whole lot.
Yes, fuck it. I'm fucking some nail. <laughs> huh? I'm fucking some nail. You're fuck. You fuck. But you're fuck. You're focusing on your nail. Yeah. His accent is not all there. Concentration. It's all about concentration. We're almost done here. Please do not try this at home. Please don't. Please don't. Huh? Please don't. <laughs> yeah. Please. On behalf of everyone, including the patient. This little speaker is bothering me. How does that feel? Mm -hmm. Five hours later. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <clears throat> I can't stress the importance, you know, when we talk about, you know, diabetes, you know, we always uh, talk about saving limbs, saving lives. Um, I can't tell the whole world how many times um, not only myself, but I'm sure all the other podiatrists out there, when, you know, when we trim toenails, um, seek and you shall find. Sometimes we find these, you know, subungual uh, ulcerations, little sinus tracts, little tunnels that lead into the bone. Um, especially when patients uh, are totally neuropathic, that they don't feel anything. Uh, you know, one of our, aside from obviously, you know, education, I cannot stress the importance of, you know, prevention, amputation prevention. Um, you know, this patient is extremely uh, young. She's uh, 42 years of age, and uh, you know, has the you know her entire life ahead. As always, <clears throat> for all the non-subscribers, subscribe. Make sure that all your notifications are on. We will continue to upload videos on a daily basis, or to the best of our abilities. Uh, Comments, bring them on. I'm ready. I got my bulletproof vest on. Let's go. Have a wonderful day, everyone.